scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, and who bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time it's going to make you attain whatever stature that christ wants you to attain thank you and joshua made sharp knives and circumcised the children of israel at the heel of the foreskins what is the relationship between circumcision and victory I want to defeat Jericho and I'm crying for divine assistance and God is saying I cannot come Joshua there is something in the camp that is stopping my presence from coming he said take the knife it is going to be a painful experience now that you have understanding although it is painful you will not fight it because you know that your victory depends on it please keep that scripture it says and Joshua did circumcise all the people that came out of Egypt he said and this is the cause why Joshua did circumcise he said all the people that came out of Egypt that were males even all the men they died in the wilderness after they came out of Egypt uh-huh verse 5 now the people that came were circumcised but the people that were born in the wilderness by the way as they came forth from Egypt, them they had not circumcised. Please be patient. The children of Israel walked all these years in a land of milk and honey. They were not circumcised. Please go to verse. Um, what's the next verse now? It says, And their children whom they raised up in their stead, them Joshua circumcised, for they were uncircumcised. Because they had not circumcised them by the way. It says, and it came to pass, when they were done circumcising the people, they abode in their place in the camp till they were made whole. Look up. This is, I can spend the whole day preaching here. We are talking of relevance now. God, show up to help us. And he says, no. In as much as I want to come. The people you admire did something that made me partner with them. I do not see that thing in you. The mentor that you are listening to, I'm not just visiting him and giving him miracles. There's something that happened behind the scene that you are not aware. If you want to produce his result, let me introduce you to the process. Number one, circumcision. He said those who left Egypt, they left with an ordinance of circumcision. But because of old age, they died now you young ones you think it's just about power sit down let me teach you how it happens you will go through a painful process of circumcision notice a few things about circumcision there is no hurrying after the circumcision some after that circumcision you may not have ministerial invitations for a long time I say you are you are being healed and you are being made whole. Circumcision is a painful and a lonely process. Do you know what it means to circumcise adults, men? You can circumcise babies, but imagine an adult. He said that is still the condition. No matter how old you are, if it's business you want to do with me, circumcision of your old mindset. Are you willing to lay your old mindset for me to cut it away? The way I was doing things yesterday, just because God is not moving the way he moved yesterday does not mean he's not the one moving. Old paradigms. Seeing then 
that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, the Bible says, let us lay aside every weight. Circumcision will cut you away from weight. Bitterness, envy, anger. God is saying, before I introduce you to that season, I've seen tendencies in you. You will not be able to host the kind of grace I'm giving you. Submit to circumcision. Are you blessed? We are learning from the sons of Issachar. They didn't just become leaders. Let me tell you this. Ask anybody who has tasted of his work with God. The period of circumcision is a painful process. It will sting your ego. It will sting your reputation. Everything that represents yourself what will die in that process. The for life is death. I hope we are still together. So one day God gives you a painful instruction and says for the next six months you are not preaching again. Ah God, how about my reputation? Do you want people to think I'm backsliding? He says, well you can choose to defend yourself or you can choose to walk with me. One day God will wait until all your areas has been given to you. Then you will hear the instruction loud and clear. He will use a vision. He will use a dream. He will use prophetic confirmation so that you can't say you didn't hear. Take your Isaac and you drag it to the altar like a funeral and drop it there. It's not about money. He's killing something in you. Show me any man that God is using. If they do not have a history of circumcision, run away from them. Run quickly. Forget about what result you are seeing. Run away quickly. Circumcision is what guarantees that what you are seeing is real. Are we together? This is the hardest part of a believer's journey. Because at that time, God is not even entitled to talk to you. That is the time when you will be counseling others. As soon as they come, your prophetic antenna will open up. You will counsel them as soon as they go. You say, Lord, about my issue and you will not hear anything again. There is a circumcision going on. Whereas you are trusting God for house rent. As soon as someone comes, you say, in the name of Jesus. And the person says, you can't believe it. Someone transferred five million and you are about to get angry with God. And the person will even forget you. And God says, sit down and continue praying for that person. Oh, Issachar. We're in the school of Issachar. Yes, sir. Where God will give you an instruction. You just bought your car just about when you are dancing around it. God will say, it's not your own. No. You've not yet bought your car. This one you bought, go and give it to so-so so person. You will reject that spirit. You will cast it. You will bind it. God will say, I'm still the one. Once have I spoken, you will keep hearing. Some of you, as I'm speaking to you, that's the season you are in now. I'm helping you interpret the seasons. Lord, what is wrong? The more I pray, it looks like there are attacks. I just want to have a sound sleep. I had a busy day. Twelve from the door, the Holy Ghost says, wake up. There's no sleep for you again. And you have something to do in the morning. Where are you going with me, oh God? What is the name of what you are doing with me? Am I the only one? Welcome, oh son of Issachar, to the place where he makes men. It's a place of circumcision. God tells you as a lady, he has a great destiny for you. Just when a nice guy is standing to say hello, you hear a voice from heaven. Say, you better leave that gentleman now. I told you your womb is going to bring a prophet. Stand aside. And you say, God, this is how you want to make my life useless. Let me tell you this. That is why there are only few people that eventually emerge you see how painful the process is not everything in the kingdom is a gift there are things that are rewards rewards for passing through this is what people go through when you talk about them whether in private or public god will punish you because there is blood dripping on their altar 
Are we blessed? God, you are calling me to be a prophetic worshiper to the nations. And God says, for the next two years, all the songs I give you, write it, but you will not produce anything. You will not honor any invitation. He can give you an instruction. All the invitations you go to, don't collect one honorarium. Return it back to them. Your motif will keep being purged. You know God is working with you when you feel like you are dying. <laughs> Joshua chapter 6. Let's talk about the last point and then we'll pray. Is God blessing us? The third key that I want to introduce to us is found in Joshua chapter 6. After that season of circumcision, as painful as it is, as God grants grace and the healing occurs, then a miracle begins to happen. Joshua chapter 6. From verse 1, please. Now Jericho was shut up because of the children of Israel. None went out and none came in. Look at this kind of place of bondage. Nothing goes out nothing comes in next verse and the lord said unto joshua see i have given into thy hand jericho and the king thereof and the mighty men of velo verse 3 and ye shall compass the city look at this this is now the strategy for the new season are you seeing now supernatural strategy came when circumcision was done if they had tried to fight the people in Jericho, they would be using a wrong strategy. Understanding led them to a season of circumcision. I didn't have time to read. Please read verse 5, chapter 5 from verse 1 to 15. So that you can understand the whole context. Because after the circumcision, suddenly Joshua sees an angel, the captain of the Lord's army. Who said, now I am here to come and partner with you. Let me reveal to you the strategy that will bring Jericho down. You want heaven to assist you? You want encounters? You must pass through that season of circumcision. Listen. God calls you to be a kingdom financier. And he tells you you will be a billionaire. And for a long time, people even look at you and say, something is wrong with you. One day in your place of fasting and prayer... When your circumcision is done, his majesty will come to you and say, get a notebook. I want to give you my strategy for your rising. Write. You will write what looks like a foolish statement. But that's what will lift you to the point where people will think you are holding something. And they are right. They are right. It has to be something lifting you. I remember when the Lord came to me and began to give me secrets that will cause a man to excel not just in ministry and in a generation what I'm teaching is not a sermon I am teaching history these are the keys take and when you hold those keys that is the symbol of dominion it's like a scepter upon your life there is nothing the devil can do about it you are not walking in ignorance. You are holding these keys. Please listen to me. When heaven decides to partner with you, heaven will reveal to you supernatural strategies for victory. Second Corinthians chapter 10, when you read from verse 4 and 5, the Bible says the weapons of our warfare, the weapons that we are going to use to establish victory, they are not man-made, not fabricated by the intelligence of men, he says. But mighty unto God. Please give it to us. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 from verse 4. The weapons of our warfare, it says, are not carnal, man-made, but mighty through God. Mighty through God. Another expression, mighty through partnership with God mighty for the pulling down of strongholds verse 5 
casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of Christ bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ superior weapons of victory God begins to reveal to you strategies in this case he said Joshua I'm going to give you a strategy that does not make sense but believe it this is the strategy for the next season what is it gather your men don't fight go around Jericho once every day for six days and then listen to what I will tell you one day imagine brothers and sisters the generals in Nigeria going around Sambisa or going around Abuja every day and just singing you are good and your mercy is forever hallelujah you to fight and they say just relax victory is on his way what sort of a strategy is that they are not carnal so god can give you a strategy and say go and lock yourself for the next three days write all your prayer requests on the ground and dance on it what sort of a strategy is that lord i want a change of season i'm looking for partners in ministry you are not giving me phone numbers i am a prophet i can hear god says leave that this is your strategy and you're dancing like a madman dancing like a madman and while you are dancing somebody's waking up from his bed because the strategies are let me tell you this divine strategy are they look deceptfully weak until you see the power that is contained in them go around jericho do you know the bible says five chariots could sit on the fence of jericho that means even if it falls it's still another fence five chariots on a fence and yet a man begins to to sing around it and then on the final day he says now you will go around seven times and after the seventh time there will be a shout it's called the healer the highest praise at the instance of that shout listen please a miracle will happen and they went round and round and then they lifted up their voices watch this people of god when they shouted the bible says that the fence it did not just fall it sank right down the fence sank down victory cheap victory because of divine strategies when elijah as a prophet sir i'm wrapping up elijah as a prophet of god there was hunger in the land the first strategy that was given to him is go and stay at brook cherith i will send you a raven are we bible students i will send you a raven to feed you and then you will drink water from the brooks but the bible says a time came the brook dried that's usually the problem when the current strategy is no longer effective you will need to even though he was a prophet he could not invent a strategy by himself and god said now the strategy has changed if you want to last until rain comes i am about to send you not to the house of a billionaire i'm sending you to the house of a widow you will help her and you will feed from her he was on his way to zarephath and he met this woman on her way gathering sticks he said woman bring me water make me a morsel of bread she said i'm about to make the last one and die he said not so i'm here on an instruction it's a new season for two of us it's a new season for two of us the bible says she ate from that and lasted brothers and sisters ask successful people tell you the foolish things god asks them to do ask your pastor ask your bishops ask, ask ask everyone who is a leader the pastors in this ministry the branches ask your bishop ask his wife they will tell you at a point in their life god gave instructions that did not make sense they obeyed those instructions 
from dancing around to shouting like mad people to emptying your account to fasting for no reason to praying forms of our warfare are not carnal if it makes sense to you it most likely may not be god speaking god talks to you like he's talking to himself so if you analyze his speakings from the standpoint of intellect you will find out that it does not make sense moses why are you crying before me tell the people to go forward go forward where imagine that you come and tell 2.5 million people walk on water and go but that was a strategy for their victory if it be thou bid me come he said come walk on that water the wedding in cana they were used to brewing wine but the Bible says the wine finished John chapter 2. They needed another strategy for continuity. Embarrassment was going to happen in that feast now. People were thirsty. They needed drink. But there was no wine. And he said gather six vessels. Another strategy. Fill it with water. Then he now decided to embarrass them. Fetch the water and take it to the rulers. Not even test it among yourself. Take it directly to the rulers. Without testing it yourself. That's a risk. Ah! But water he turns into wine. That's a miracle worker. He opens the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. None like you. It's into the darkness he shines. Out of the ashes we rise, there's no one like you, none like you. Listen, the reason why many of us may have marked time in certain seasons is because even though you have submitted to circumcision, your ego, you have not gotten your ego out of the way. To have the flexibility to obey divine instructions divine instructions are very embarrassing there's no time i would have given you a few of the senseless instructions that god has given me in this life hmm. very unreasonable but they contain mysterious power that works within them You are in this place right now and we're going to be praying strategies are going to come for you for your life listen for your business and even for ministry lord why is this struggle in this family leave the issue of a plus b equals to c open up your spirit and then god will tell you let me give you a formula not for everybody for you a formula for you a formula for you and you obey that formula and then your life will just change just like that just like that but you must trust God for grace listen to me you must trust God for grace it takes discernment to change seasons in your life you've heard my stories let me share just one of them a repetition years ago i was in just bishop i went to buy sugar cane and i saw two old women and i just felt strong in my spirit to honor them they were mothers it was less than 100 naira to give them i said please you people are my mothers give me the honor of paying for you they were trying to open their uh, this their, their wrapper and remove money they said no no let me pay for you I paid for that sugar cane for them and then they kept blessing me for some reason I did not pay attention to what they were saying but then one of the women looked at me strangely and said my son forever walk upon gold is that a human being can a human being talk to you like that strategies strategies
there are some of you you may find out that nobody is rising in your family everybody loves god but everybody is down at best if you rise something pegs you just doing what you have been doing before will not produce the result lord what is the strategy in this season i need to change seasons i need to change seasons even for some of us you have been carrying a level and a measure of anointing a measure of anointing lord can't you take me higher and enlarge my coast you may be praying and fasting but there may be a strategy by god to you we're about to pray i sense the grace of god in this place bring for me two people now the power of god is coming very mightily on them do i have a few minutes bishop this is a sunday service i just saw light there is such an unction that is coming on two people please let me have them here it's, it's an anointing i'm seeing that the lord is breaking the, ah. please once that happens i want you to bring them the power of god is moving two people it will come upon them please carry them just bring them to the front here we're going to pray and if our god is for us then who could ever stop us and if our god is with us then what can stand against and if our god is for us then who could ever stop us and if our god is with us then what can stand against and if our god is for us then who could ever stop us and if our god is with us then what can stand against hallelujah we're praying who is josephine is it josephine i'm hearing the name josephine is there someone with that name josephine 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 who is that you are wearing like um like green or lemon josephine is there someone like that josephine what's your name is the mic working please help us just a few minutes and we'll pray we still have is it working what's your name my dear josephine you're a member of this church yes sir i want to pray for you your life is about to change in the name of jesus mama i want to pray for you the lord is breaking the bondage of witchcraft this is what i'm seeing in the name of jesus christ every power that will not let you go here at this 14th anniversary in the name of jesus christ i command it leaves you now in the name of jesus the christ of god i declare that you are free free now and free forever my dear look at me the Josephine lady lift your hands what do you do I work with NCDC presently NCDC NTA NCDC NCDC let me pray for you in the name of Jesus every antagonism against you in your office this is what I'm seeing in the name of Jesus because I'm seeing trouble let her go now in the name of Jesus the Christ of God the Bible says wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name i'm hearing a name chukudi chukudi is there someone with that name who is that what do you do sir i'm a data scientist huh i'm a data scientist you are a data scientist legal data scientist data science dental, dental science. science research and public policy okay and economist i want to pray for you I'm seeing you climb a ladder and every time I see this in a vision I know that increase you are stepping into a new season you believe that we're going to pray someone will shout loud under the anointing bring the person out please I just want to speak to the person we're going to pray now remember we're talking about divine strategies for some of you the strategy God gave you was to come for this program that's it you see how the devil fought you from coming 
you try to come no transport you try to come something happened like that man there because his ministry is about to change bring him you see the devil you will try and try and try and try and try someone will annoy you you want to stay back but it's the devil trying to stop you because the strategy for your lifting this man please stand up this man i don't know you will come i don't know anything about you but i want to pray for you i'm seeing what do you have to do with enugu state i'm a pastor there i'm a pastor there you're a pastor in enugu state that's what i'm saying i want to pray for you ah! the grace for revelation this is the grace that is coming on you in a very strange dimension i i stretch my hands towards you in the name of jesus i decree and declare take that grace may that anointing shift you to superior levels in the spirit in the mighty name of jesus superior dimensions of revelation by the spirit in the name of jesus christ this is the minister's role there's somebody i'm seeing the power of god come on one person please don't be embarrassed just one person just on this role i don't know i'm seeing like light fire it's an ignition of the prophetic grace take that grace to a new season this man in the name of jesus you will never be the same i shift you to a new dimension in the spirit Shilakata. everyone please open your mouth and begin to pray in one minute please begin to pray begin to pray it's a new season it's a new season it's a new season Recopansa ta bredine bonza ta Impeke tele bregede boko sika ta E russa pan bregede la ba Leke ponno no 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 Reke panna bako seke tele bregede Hallelujah New season That oil, look at me sir Shout Jesus as loud as you can Shout loud Jesus as loud as you can I release you Into a new level of grace By the power that raised Christ from the dead you will never be the same again in the name of jesus christ my friend what do you do huh ministry sir ministry ministry you are doing ministry yes. your own ministry yes where well um it's an interdimensional ministry at the moment. don't feel bad i'm seeing chains all around you Amen. this is what i'm seeing and the lord is saying to set you free i stretch my hands take that grace take that fire go back with signs and wonders i open new horizons by the spirit in the name of Jesus, grace to do ministry with integrity. May the Lord anoint you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please lift your voice and pray. Father, the kind of circumcision that must happen in my life and my destiny in this season. Let it come upon me. Lift your voice and pray. Is someone pray? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have to walk with time. Please apologize. Just give me two, three minutes. I'm seeing a family. It's like every two, two years, there is a pattern of death. Two years, someone must die. Either someone in the family related or like maybe an, maybe an, just someone within the family. Is there someone like that? I want to pray and break that demonic chain right now. Where are you from? I'm from Enugu, sir. Huh? Enugu State. I'm seeing someone you've been looking for admission for one, two, three, four. You've written jam. This is like five years or so. Four, five years. You've been searching, searching for admission. Is there someone like that? I want to pray with you very quickly. It's your time for deliverance now. Mama, I want to pray for you. Still the same case. I'm standing in faith with Bishop. And we're declaring that every planting that is not of the Lord, that brings patterns. Are we in agreement, church? That every pattern that is not of God, over these dear people, it must go right now. Open your mouth and begin to pray for them. Shit. 
Open your mouth and begin to pray for them. Seneke barakata bakosia Haparos Ekele paros Kete bradusia Ila barata bakapa te krede bakos Imam predila kaposa kata Inte predike peregede bakapa ragada Now hear me Reko baso to libregede I want to pray I'm seeing chains in this place Please I want you to believe God brought you here to shift seasons in your life You shouldn't come here and just go back and say I came to church No Seasons this is why God put it upon the life of his servant. Insist, be angry. I can't be at this level again for the rest of my life. It must be a new season in my life. I want to pray right now. Listen, there are people here and their families that have been under all sorts of demonic captivity. The Bible says, for this purpose was the Son of God made manifest, that he may destroy the works of the devil. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. Listen. Shout it as loud as you can from the depth of your heart. Please, ushers, I want you to bring those under the anointing after that shout. Whether you are an usher or not, just help them if you are there and you are a worker in the, in the ministry. Are we ready? Father, every power that is not of the Christ, sitting over the destinies of people, here on this mountain of the Lord, I stand in agreement with the bishop, the angel over this commission. And Lord, I declare that at the count of three, as they shout, let that wall of Jericho, it must fall down now. Are you ready? At the count of three, shout Jesus. One, two, three. Jesus! Let them go now. I command every witchcraft, hey! every orchestration of darkness, give way now. Give way now. Give way now. Every ordinance. Lift your voice and pray. I break free from every chain. I break free from every chain. Every limiting chain. I break free from every chain. Bring them out. Bring them out. Zechariah chapter 1, please. Zechariah chapter 1. From verse 18. Someone's life is changing. Please, media, can you help us? Just five minutes and we're done. Zechariah 1 and verse 18. Zechariah. Chapter 1 and verse 18. Then I lifted up my eyes and saw and behold four horns. Next verse. 19. And I said unto the angel that talked with me, What be these? And he answered, he said, these are the horns which have scattered Judah, which have scattered Israel, which have scattered Jerusalem. 19. 20 now. Praise the Lord. Well, let me just quote it. It said, and I have sent these are the horns okay let's go to 21 that these are the horns that have scattered judah look up please so that no man did lift up his head 
but I have come to fray them, to cast out the horns of the Gentiles, which lifted up their horn over the land of Judah to scatter it. There are horns that insist that people don't rise. There are horns that insist that families don't rise. Madam, that woman at the back there, lift your hands. You, yes. I'm seeing light coming to you. This woman, yes. No, the one looking at me now, lift your hands. I just saw light coming to you. In the name of Jesus, I declare that everything that will not let you go, help her. Everything that will not let you go, help her please, my God. He must let you go now. All those who are out here in the name of Jesus, I declare that every power that will not let you go right now in this assembly, hear my voice. I speak as one sent in the name that is above all names. I declare their exodus from your life forever, forever, forever that the Egyptians you see, you will see them no more forever. What is this that you are holding, my friend? What is this? Huh? You are looking for a job. Where? What is your name? Do you believe in miracles? Give me your credentials. In the name of Jesus, look at me. I'm saying it in the open. It's not in the secret. I give you three months from today. In the name of Jesus, may God settle you honorably. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. I place a grace upon you. Go with this grace. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord will open doors for you beyond your imagination. To the glory of the name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let me pray for someone who is always seeing dead people. You go to bed and here they come. People that have died oh, a long time ago. Calling you, trying to eat with you. This is what I'm seeing. The Lord wants to set that person free. Please, who is that person? Very quickly. Your members of this church. You see why it's good to come? You see why it's good? You Listen for all the remaining sessions in this conference i want you to go and gather your family members even if there's no space you will sit on the zinc are we together now by the grace of god i'm still here i think we have two more sessions in the morning and in the evening i think god is really ready to visit and just end some things once and for all My sister, look at me. I'm looking at you and in the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing a veil all over your face. This is what I'm seeing. That you are looking at someone physically, but in the realm of the spirit, you are not seeing a face. Anything covering anyone's glory here, in the name of Jesus, I tear that veil into pieces. I tear that veil into pieces. Hear me. The living has nothing to do with the dead. It is appointed unto men to die once after that the judgment. Whoever has died, no matter how close the person is, they are gone and they are gone. There is a, a partition. Hear me. The grave is a spirit. It can call men. It can call men. In the name that is above all names. Here at this church, every one of you who the spirit of death and the grave is trying to call or trying to call love habakatapatos ketepa empreketos seketepa rakash ekatekotos kotopakataba rekete shebrendeke posotokopa kepreketo shigeta oh death where is your sting oh grave where is your victory i declare be free right now in the name of jesus hello scriptures exalt us from the book of proverbs it says, my son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. 
as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you